Hello developers. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to run JavaScript in Visual Studio Code. Yes, it is possible to run JavaScript outside your web browser with the help of Node.js. So I'm going to download and install Node.js first. After that, I'm going to install Visual Studio Code, which is a code editor to uh, edit and run the codes. Okay, I have also given uh, these download pages links on the video description. First, let me download Node.js first. It is downloading. It is successfully downloaded. Let me download Visual Studio Code. I'm using Windows 10 64-bit operating system. Both applications are downloaded successfully. Let me install Node.js first. Node.js setup wizard is opened. Click the next button, then accept the terms and agreement. Then click the next button again and again. You don't have to change any values. Finally, click the install button. It will take a couple of minutes to install Node.js on your operating system. Please wait until that. As you can see that Node.js is successfully installed. Now let me install Visual Studio Code. Accept the agreement, then click next. Again and again, you don't have to change anything. Finally, click the install button. Visual Studio Code is successfully installed. Okay, that's it. Let me check whether the node.js is successfully installed or not using command prompt. Node space hyphen hyphen version. When I hit enter, it will return uh, the node.js installed version. You can see that version 16.13.0 is installed on my operating system. If it is written node was not found, then uh, node.js is successfully not installed. Okay, now I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. To run JavaScript in Visual Studio Code, you have to install two extensions. For that, you have to navigate to the extensions tab here. Otherwise, use Ctrl plus Shift plus X shortcut to open extensions tab. Type JavaScript. You can find JavaScript ES6 code snippets plugin or extension. Just click install. It is useful for uh, JavaScript ES6 syntax in Visual Studio Code, right? Then install the second extension, Code Runner, which is used to run uh, programming languages in Visual Studio Code such as C, C++, PHP, Python, JavaScript, etc. That's it. Both. Uh, extensions are uh, installed successfully. Let me close the Visual Studio Code and open it again to make sure every functionality is working fine. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to save the file as subscribe.js on my desktop. Okay. I'm going to print a simple message with the help of console.log. Welcome to Coding Diksha, then semicolon, that's it. Now I'm going to run this JavaScript file. On right side, you can find the run button. Otherwise, you can use the shortcut Ctrl plus Alt plus N. When I hit the run button, you can see that uh, Welcome to Coding Diksha is printed on output. It means the JavaScript code is rendered successfully. Okay, let me create a new JavaScript program. I'm going to save this file as index.js. That's it. Now I'm going to install one library that is prompt sync. It is used to get input from the users. It is the node.js package. So I'm going to install it. For that, in terminal, type this command npm space install prompt hyphen sync hit enter it will download and install prompt sync package it is installed successfully okay just you have to uh, declare this that's it then variable first name equal to 
prompt double quotation enter your first name semicolon then variable last name equal to prompt enter your last name semicolon then i am going to display the name with the help of console dot log the full name is comma first name comma last name then semicolon it is a simple javascript program to display the name by getting the input from the user okay now i'm going to run this uh, project by clicking the run button or you can use the shortcut control plus alt plus n when i click run button it is asking the input you can see that enter your username but i cannot type anything because of one issue to fix this issue just close the program then click file then preference then go to settings then type run in terminal you can find scroll down you can find on option code hyphen runner colon run in terminal tick this checkbox okay then close the file then i am going to uh, run this project again when i click the run button it is already running so i'm going to close the project and reopen it again okay now i'm going to run this project when i click the run button you can see that uh, it is asking the input from the terminal not from the output window right now i can type the input enter your first name ranjit then enter your last name kumar when i hit enter you can see that the output is the full name is ranjit kumar it means we have successfully rendered javascript file in visual studio code that's it guys if you have any doubts about this topic then please leave a comment we will help you if you want to receive more videos about javascript and visual studio code then don't forget to subscribe this channel